Just as in apparel fashion that follows its own cycle of trends, colors, and styles, so does furniture fashion. There is one design period in particular that seems to continue to increase in desirability and prevalence. In this segment of Frame, we'll discuss mid-century mod furniture fashion with Dave Owens, owner of First Class Finds. Dave, thanks for being on Frame. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We're sitting here, we have our little fabulous mid-century mod setup. So before we get into detail, because you are the expert on it, give us an idea of what it is exactly. What is mid-century modern furniture? Uh, well, to me, I think uh, mid-century modern would definitely be between the time periods of the uh, 1940s mm -hmm. through the 1970s. Um, modern furniture uh, dates back to the 1800s, um, really? but specifically uh, mid-century modern is kind of its own genre and um, that's kind of give or take. It could be um, late 30s, early 40s and, and kind of even going into the late 70s. I love the 70s, as you know, <laughs> and I'm a big collector and fan of it. So what are the design elements in mid-century mod furniture? Easily identified, it's usually um, clean lines, mm -hmm. you know, very simple form, futuristic. I read also it's an organic in nature, tying back to Fra Frank Lloyd Wright and how it should be a natural part of an environment. Is that an accurate assessment too? I think that's very true. Okay. And we have a table of a very significant designer as part of the mid-century mod movement, if you will, in decorative arts. And why don't you give us an overview about this table, please? Well, the designer is uh, Warren Platner, and he was a designer for Knoll. And um, he had a, uh, a, a line of this furniture, um, the wire table, and there was a dining table. Yes. And um, which would have been much larger, and it had wire chairs, much like this, all the way around it. And, um, it's, a, it's a desirable line. It's a highly coveted. I have friends, actually, who have that set, and it's absolutely beautiful. Who are some of the other prominent designers from the mid-century mod period? Well, I think probably at the forefront of most mid-century um, design conversations, you probably talk about Charles and Ray Eames. Oh, yes. Um, they were a husband and wife design team. Uh, Charles was an architect, and Ray, his wife, was an artist. Mm -hmm. And um, together, they, they collaborated, and um, their vision was to be able to produce large amounts of furniture that was also affordable. No longer was it only affordable for a certain class of, of people to own. So. And very functional as well. Very functional. Another highly coveted line. If you can find an Eames piece, you're, you're really, you're doing well in yes. great condition. And if you have them, keep them. <laughs> yes, really Unless really you want to get your hands on it. Yeah, <laughs> you can always bring it down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I interrupted you. What were you going to say? Oh, I just think, uh, yeah, the, the part of their mission and, and the reason why they're, they were at the forefront is because uh, they were doing something a little different, not something everyone was doing. Um, their furniture, their mission was to um, hold a high standard for quality mm -hmm. and also uh, design. Which still rings true to today. Do you have any idea why that period seems to be so popular right now? Well, I think there's a few different reasons for that. Um, as you mentioned, the, the quality of construction, I think, is something that's desirable to people mm -hmm. who maybe aren't so much of a mid-century collector as they are somebody who wants quality furniture. The simplicity of the form, again, as you mentioned, um, really lends itself to a lot of different design schemes. Yes. I mean, you could, you could put modern furniture in a contemporary home and make it work really well. I have customers who have purchased older homes mm -hmm. and they're still able to work in a few key pieces and, oh. and still make it look right. In a more traditional environment. Yeah. yeah so. I think that's more of a trend now is uh, being able to do different things and not having to stick to just one type of furniture. If you can make it work and it looks good and you feel good in your home, then it works. And that's the key because that nesting, cocooning uh, trend is also very high, which may be that, as well as individuality. Every piece is so unique that you don't 
see it coming and going as you do in so many things like I likened it to apparel fashion and, and other furniture, modern furniture today. What exactly are the identifiers on, on pieces? There's a lot of uh, websites now that are catalogs of all the designers' furniture. Modernism Book is a, mm -hmm. is a great identification uh, guide to be able to give you a kind of an overview of what the designers were doing um, and a wide variety of different um, designers and companies. Did they stamp their furniture? Sometimes um, you will see it branded into the furniture. Oh, okay. uh, Haywood Wakefield, um, certain Danish companies uh, mm -hmm. actually stamped it you know, into the furniture. Like a um, good old fashioned like cattle brand? We yeah, have that have a nice little uh, bird mark on the bottom. Tags, you, you'll, you'll oftentimes see tags maybe underneath uh, mm -hmm. uh, on, on the padding. Mm -hmm. or, uh, and, and sometimes you won't. Sometimes furniture that was uh, obviously from its age mm -hmm. uh, or being reupholstered may have lost the tag. So sometimes it's just kind of, a, you have to do your research. How did you get started with mid-century mod? Well, um, just from a, being a collector, I guess, you know, going around and finding bargains. Uh -huh. And um, I bought a house about nine years ago. It was built in 1956. And um, when I started seeing this furniture, it just seemed to fit. I wanted to, after I bought my first piece, I mm -hmm. bought a bedroom set, mm -hmm. um, a maple bedroom set. I've got birch um, trim, so it looked That's really gorgeous. nice. And next thing you know, I was doing the uh, spare bedroom in the basement. <laughs> so that's kind of what got me into it. And once I, once I started seeing more and more of it, I guess it just turned into a hobby and an obsession, so. Who's your favorite designer? I really am a fan of uh, Charles and Reigns. I just like their originality, um, the, the artistic end of mm -hmm. what they did with their design. And I also admire the fact that they wanted to produce it for everyone to be able to purchase. Yeah. And I've tried to adopt that in my own shop. I'd like to, I like to sell furniture um, to, to everyone that, that wants to have it in their home. What, what, what is love? Dave, these chairs, they kind of need to go home with me maybe. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell us about these chairs. I'm going to get are, out because this These are another, uh, gorgeous. another Herman Miller. Um, La Fonda chairs, uh, mm -hmm. really fun shape. These have been mm -hmm. recovered. They're not the original upholstery, but uh, they have fun colors, and uh, you can attest that they're very comfortable. Yes, and they, they are. Swivel. And that makes them really, really fun because yeah. you can mess around on these. And speaking of the the fabric, one thing about mid-century modern design is that most of the patterns and the fabric were really monochromatic, actually patternless. Isn't that true? Kind of ties into the the simplistic nature of the furniture. Sure. You don't sure. have to be too shy with the colors. You can get busy with the starburst clock, the owls. You have a little, what is this thing? It's like a Giorgio <laughs> O'Keefe piece, kind of. Well, I, some head. I really love furniture, but sometimes I just buy strange things as well. <laughs> um, it's great. I was in an antique shop and it was a spray painted cow head, so um, I had to buy it. A cow head. Well, I really know my animals, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I see you were getting ready to whip up some fondue for us. Is yes. there anything else we should know about mid-century modern furniture? Well, I, th I think the thing to remember is to have fun with it. There's gonna be a lot of opportunities to buy fun stuff. Well, I'm excited. Again, I'm going to start working on my 15 additional homes so I can continue to build my collection and decorate at my own whim, right? Uh, in the meantime, we hope you learn more about mid-century modern furniture. And too bad you're not here because you too could have some fondue. I'm Yvette Craddock. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to the segment of Frame.
Frame is sponsored by Allegra. Click Marketing Solutions. Dialfolio Jewelry. Tallgrass Business Resources.